Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. I wanted to give you a little update on the 66 Nova that I've been doing some body work on. And uh, you know, this car, first inspection, very solid, very nice, very easy car to straighten up and put some paint on. Of course, things get complicated. It happens to everybody. You start taking trim off, you start taking pieces off, you start taking some layers of paint off. You're gonna see some stuff that surprises you. And this car is no different. From the outside, it looked great. It almost looked like too good to be true, and it was. So, driver's side of the car, very good. No rust, no issues, hardly even a dent in the whole driver's side of the car. Passenger side has some issues. It had been in a little wreck. They've Somewhere down the line, somebody's replaced the front fender and the door from a different car. So, I knew that something was kind of sketchy there and the door didn't really line up very good. There had been some mud work on the quarter where it meets up with the door. There was some issues there that was kind of a red flag. So what I did was I took the door loose and I jacked it around and kind of got it where it lined up a little better and I eventually had to actually take the door off, slot a couple of holes to give me some more adjustment on that those door hinges, bolted it back on there and I've got it fitting really good. I'm very happy with fitment right now. So the important thing with panel alignment is lining up the door to fit the quarter panel because you can't really move the quarter panel. So that's your home base. You gotta make the door fit, and then you gotta make the fender fit the door. And then you gotta make the hood fit, and it's kind of like a bunch of moving pieces to be able to really get this stuff dialed in. And you know, there's plenty of margin for error. The holes are big, so you can move these things around and then tighten the bolts down and it'll stay. But you know, sometimes you got to enlarge those holes a little more. Sometimes you got to use some shims. Sometimes, you know, you got to get creative on making these things line up right. And for me personally, that's a really important part of making a car look good. Because even if this thing had shiny paint, straight panels, if the panels were all wonky, that's not cool. That does not look good. And the biggest concern that I had, more so than the, the look of misaligned panels, was when you get fresh paint on those misaligned panels, there's a big chance of two panels coming in contact, contact with each other and the paint coming off. And that is not good. So that was step one for me is getting this door lined up. It really bothered me. I got it right where I want it to be. While I was doing that, I decided to go ahead and strip some of the paint off of the door and the quarter panel just to kind of make sure that my alignment was actually good and that I wasn't aligning this to meet a bunch of Bondo or to meet you know, a panel that's been hammered on or something like that. So what I found was in the lower portion of the passenger side quarter panel was a bunch of Bondo. And that's normal, it's not scary to me. It's, you know, every car, anywhere you look in a show, chances are they got Bondo in them, not a big deal. However, I ran a DA over this thing with 80 grit sandpaper for the better part of an hour just back and forth. Kept, kept it moving, didn't want to dig in. I wanted to keep that panel nice and flat. And what I discovered was that there was too much Bondo here. The, the panel was actually kind of swelled out. It was rounded instead of flat. So I kept cutting and cutting and cutting and cutting. I never reached bare metal anywhere in the center of this, but I noticed that there was there's probably 10 layers of Bondo there. And again, that doesn't necessarily scare me because nothing was cracked, nothing's busted, but I knew that that's, that's a kind of a bad sign when somebody's been mudding this much on a car. So I moved backward a little bit, I moved over the wheel well, I did a little bit of grinding there and I found a couple of rust holes. Again, very normal for a car of this age and in this spot. So it didn't really scare me, that's something we can fix very easily. Then as I moved further back, that's where the real problem was. I didn't realize this at first, I was just kind of looking around. I was going to start stripping some of that, that primer off of there. And what I noticed was underneath, there was some raw, rough edges of Bondo under there, like where somebody didn't feather it out, they didn't sand it. And I hate that, number one, because that just looks bad. But number two, that means that there's some major Bondo here. So I start really looking underneath, and I notice pop rivets, which is a very bad sign. So here we go. I'm going to dig into this and see 
what this leads to because if you got pop rivets that means that somebody has stuck a patch panel in this thing and they didn't weld it that means they just pop riveted it in bondoed over the top so i took my grinder ground found all the edges you know made kind of a, a shape around it started prying these pop rivets loose drilling them out You know, it's really surprising on this car, considering how solid it is everywhere else, to see a big rusty hole like this. But the good news is, they make patch panels. We'll weld it in, we'll, we will use Bondo over the top of it. I'm not a metal working master or anything like that. But I'm glad we found it now in this, these early stages of the build. So, you know, that gives us a chance to go ahead and order some parts. We gotta order some, some supplies anyway, some sandpaper and different things, so, you know, we're kind of at a standstill on this part, but I can still keep working on some other parts of the car. Uh, I, I got a few other areas of concern, some little surface rust here and there that was underneath some of the trim. I'm gonna address that, try to get some of these edges feathered out and get this thing ready to actually start doing some body work. I haven't actually put any Bondo on the car yet or done anything drastic. Um, you know, I've just been kind of evaluating the status of this body. So far, so good. We got that one little issue, but we can handle it, we can get it fixed, and you know, we'll be one step closer to having this thing shiny again.